Hi there and welcome to this episode of Sipping Slowly. I'm Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. And I am Rulia, blogger bay behind Boozy Foodie. And this week's episode, we have something really interesting. We have a family affair. Oh, I like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, from the House of Von Lufren, I guess that's not official anyway, um, I'm going to chat a little bit about the Tangled Tree Spicy Shiraz. And also from the House of Van Lufren, I'm going to chat about a Scottish cousin. What are we sipping this week, Rulia? Um, I bought along the Tangled Tree Spicy Shiraz, seeing that we still sort of smack bang in the middle of winter. Um, I thought it would be nice if I can just try this one. Before you pour, mm. this is a plastic bottle. That, that's actually part of what I want to chat to you about today. Um, beautiful. Yeah, the label is just, it's just really, really lovely. Uh, this actually, I'm going to pour a little bit while I'm talking. Let me see if I can multitask. Um, what I, this, this bottle caught my attention immediately, of course, because it is... It is plastic, and um, my husband actually, maybe I shouldn't say it, my, my, my husband used it as a party trick, we would just like drop the bottle, you'd see people's like, yeah, anyway. Um, but this is a special initiative by, by Tangle Tree, or it makes it so unique, because the reasoning behind this is that um, it's of course very eco-friendly, low carbon footprint, and it's perfect for traveling. So you can imagine you just pop a bottle or two in your backpack for picnics, for hikes um, and they have this very very cool campaign going um, the hashtag is Tangled Tree Loves Traveling um, so if you want to take your, your Tangled Tree all over the place just, just tag them and yeah and the fact that the plastic the, doesn't break or the bottle doesn't mm. break makes it one lighter mm. and so much safer when you go to to a music festival. Yeah, exactly. When you go for picnics. Mm, yeah. Um, and we've tasted the whole range yeah. of the Tangle Tree. Yes, they've got the Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Rosé, uh, Cap, Cap, Cabernet, yeah, Sauvignon. Chocolate Cap. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really lovely and it's so easy drinking. It's quite affordable. Um, I think I paid like 42 Rand for this. Um, and yes, it's, it's just Lovely. When my husband brought me this the first time, I looked at him and thought, are you serious? <laughs> Bring me a plastic <laughs> bottle. But then I tasted it and it was quite drinkable. Yeah, it's lovely. No, so it it's really is. Yes. It's tasted. Cheers. <laughs> this is a very typical... Mm, typical Shiraz. Red berries. Um, you can, I immediately want to have this with like a nice steak or a bolognese or you know, a nice meaty pasta dish. A um, little, yes. little bit of fruity sweetness, mm. easy mm. drinking, Baby. and at 42 yeah. rand a bottle. Yes, I think it's just, like I say, I, I quite like the, the brand and the idea behind it. And the wine is lovely. So Jeanette, what are you sipping this week? Well, you brought us something from the Van Lufren family. And part of the Van Lufren family brand is the Tangle Tree as well as the Four Cousins. And the, one of the four cousins, I think the youngest, mm -hmm. Neil, went to Scotland and decided to bring back a Scottish cousin. <laughs> when Sorry. I saw it for the first time, I was rather skeptical. Um, I am Dutch, but that doesn't make me an expert in cheese. <laughs> uh, just because they can blend and taste wine and make nice wine doesn't mean they can blend whiskey. Um, so I managed to get some bottles. Uh, they are all blended whiskies. Okay. The five-year-old, mm -hmm. there's an eight-year-old and a twelve-year-old. Scottish whisky, made in Scotland, distilled in Scotland, aged in Scotland. Um, I think an American oak, uh, bottled, and and then it came to South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering how the how the whole process process the distillery. Okay. The the five-year-old mm -hmm. is. A nice, affordable, all three of these are affordable, very affordable, specifically for cocktails, a nice, easy drinking blend. Mm -hmm. The 12 year old obviously competes with a Johnny Walker Black, it's a 12 year old uh, blended Scottish whiskey. It's rich, it's delicious, it's a sipping whiskey. However, 
the one that stole my heart. You, you can see, can see it. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it's obvious. The one that stole my heart was the eight year old. Mm. And it is really, really impressive the way that it's blended. We don't know what the distilleries are in here. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I was going to ask for somebody who maybe don't know that no. much about whiskey. What do, what do you mean if you say it's blended? So this is a blend, a mm. mix of various distilleries. Oh, okay, okay. So there would be some grain whiskey in here, there would be mm. some malt whiskey in here from four, five, six, ten, twelve, a known number of distilleries. Okay. The one thing that you do know, one, it was done in Scotland, so um, it is specifically Scottish whiskey, and the youngest whiskey in this bottle is an eight-year-old. So there oh, might be older okay. whiskeys in mm. here, there might be a nine or a ten-year-old, but the youngest whiskey is an eight-year-old. Oh, okay. It is bottled at 43%, so I'm only going to add a little bit of water. I'm just going to this off quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, have a, have a sniff, have a taste. This is this oh, wow. fruit. It's lovely. There's mm. florals. There's vanilla. Oh, that's really Cinnamon. nice. Cinnamon. Mm. A lot of fresh flowers. A little mm. bit of something chocolatey. Almost, eh? Hey? Something yes. chocolatey. Yes. Fresh flowers and chocolate. And this is such an easy drinking, mm. soft, smooth, mm. delicious. Yeah, this is really nice for your after work drinks, your weekday after work drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer the question, can the mm. cousins from the wine cousins blend whiskey? They certainly <laughs> can. It is impressive. Cheers. <laughs> that is all that we have for you this week on Sipping Slowly. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and see what else we get up to. And of course, subscribe below to get an update of our next episode. I'm Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. And I'm Rulia from Boozy Foodie. Join us again next time.